Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the security tricks on the Honor 400 Lite. Alright, so let's begin. First, let's open up our settings first and then scroll down a little bit and click on security and privacy. We can begin with setting up the screen lock. So click on this big button, set a screen lock. In here you can select a six digit pin, but there are also another methods how to unlock this phone. Simply click on change unlock method. In here we can select four digit pin, custom pin pattern or the password. I'm gonna select the password. I'm gonna show you how to set it. We need to connect at least four dots. In here simply draw anything that you want and remember it. Otherwise you'll be forced to reset your phone. Then click on done and now our lock screen has been set. Now we can also click on check for updates, see if there's anything to download. But in my case, you can see that software is up to date, so I don't need to perform any action. If you will have that possibility to download the update, simply do it. Okay, now below we have the app security. Click on Google Play Protect. And in here we can also perform a scan. So the scan is running now, as you can see, but for now, no harmful, harmful apps has been found. So we don't need to do anything. Now let's get back. Now click on again the device unlock and below we have the fingerprint and the face recognition as a method to unlock. So I'm gonna show you how the fingerprint works. In here again redraw your fingerprint, sorry your pattern. And now click on new fingerprint. Click on add, click on OK. And now we need to place our finger inside of that sensor right in here and when we feel a little vibration we need to lift up our finger and then put it again okay now lift your finger put it again and now we need to repeat that process until we fulfill that logo in the middle okay keep repeating Okay, okay, and rollout has been successful. Fingerprint one, edit. Okay, click on okay. Now let's see how those options work. So let's begin with the pattern. Simply draw it, boom, our device has been unlocked now. And now let's try with the fingerprint. Place your finger inside of the sensor and also the phone has been unlocked. All right, so let's get back into the device unlock and into the fingerprint. In here we can also enable to access the safe or access the app lock. Okay, now we need to enter the password to our safe. All right. Okay, and now we have also access to the safe. Same thing with the app lock, if you just to enable it. In here you can protect your privacy by locking your apps. To open a locked app you'll need to verify your identity. So click on enable. In here we can, we can use the lock screen password or a custom pin. I'm gonna use the lock screen password. Oh, sorry, I misclicked. Lock screen password. And now let's find the app lock. Now I need to find it. I don't know yet where is it. But okay, simply click on search in here. Type the app lock. Okay, now we can use your fingerprint or the password. I'm gonna use the fingerprint. As you can see, it works. And now let's say we wanna lock the Chrome. Now it's locked. And if someone will want to open the Chrome, he needs to use your password or your fingerprint. So accessibility and access to the Chrome is really, really harder than normal. So if someone will stole your phone, he won't get access to your stuff if you enable it in the app lock. So remember about it, but because it's a cool feature. All right, now let's get back 
into the settings sorry not that settings in here all right that's all when it comes to the fingerprint of course you can also set your face recognition below we have secure lock settings we can enable or disable to make pattern visible or enable show lockdown option in lockdown mode your device can only be unlocked using your lock screen password so in that mode the fingerprint won't work all right below we have the, also the extend unlock if you choose to turn it on in here you can read about it so Extend Unlock keeps this device unlocked when it's with you. Extend Unlock can recognize when you're holding this device, you're in your home or another trusted place, your watch or other trusted device is nearby. You can also click on learn more to read about it. Click on guided and in here you can enable the unbody detection, trusted places or the trusted devices. So when it comes to the unbody detection, the device will be unlocked when you are walking with it you can enable it right in here also the trusted places you can add your for example home right in here and also the trusted devices such as i don't know your watch but in my opinion it's not that necessary maybe the trusted devices are okay but trusted places or on body detection are not a game changer to me so it's up to you you can read it for yourself read how this works and set it or not okay let's get back into our settings and now click on account security click on google security checkup okay and as you can see everything is fine right in here we don't need to perform any action so it's also good to see now let's click on password checkup okay in here we can see that we have no compromised passwords our passwords are unique so it's also really really good but we have one weak password so for example in here we can click on change password and set it and set a stronger one always remember that your password shouldn't be the same because you know if someone will find out that your one of your passwords he might want to use it to log in into your other accounts or I don't know apps and if you have the same password there's a probability that it might happen so have that in mind and you can always check it right here do you have some compromised password or do you have the same passwords so remember about this option because it's really cool in my opinion and you should check it from time to time okay below we also have the device finders we have find my device you can make sure that's enabled you can read about that if you lose this device or any connected fast per accessories you can use find my device to locate them you can also read more about it right in here and you have two ways how to use find my device you can use the app or through the web so for example when you will lose, lose uh, your your device make sure that you have your location turned on before you can for example set the lock screen or i don't know factory reset this device simply by using find my device but make sure that device must be must be online and you have to make sure that your location is also turned on so for example you can erase all of your data from find my device or for example set a screen lock all right below you have unknown tracker alerts you can enable it right in here all right and the last thing in here is system and updates it's also always good to see if there are any possible updates to download we can check for updates okay nothing in here now click on security update no that was the thing before sorry so click on google play update and let's see if there's something to download we have available update simply click on download and install then follow the instruction on the screen and then basically you will need to restart your phone i'm not going to do it now because i have other things to show you so but if you have that possibility simply download okay and the last thing is the backup 
it is always good to have a backup of your data just in case so if you click on backup we have account storage below we have our google account that we are currently locked in and remember that if you want to restore the backup later in the future you need to be logged in into the same Google account on which you made the backup, otherwise you won't be able to restore. Okay, then make sure that Backup by Google one is enabled right in here, and then simply click on this blue button, Backup now. Then under the Backup, a thin bar will appear, and when it comes to the opposite edge, it will mean that your backup is finished. Okay, now below we have other settings and more security and privacy. In here you can disable to show passwords, show characters briefly as you type passwords, it is up to you. I suggest, uh, it's up to you actually, you can enable it or disable. Alright, when it comes also for install apps from external sources, if you don't want to get yourself a virus, for example from Chrome when you're downloading something. If you want you can allow app installs, it is completely up to you, but I suggest you shouldn't use that option. Because you know installing apps from the Chrome, not from Google Play Store, it's there's always a risk, so remember about it. Alright, now we can exit the settings, now we can click on the essentials. And here we can also click on the system manager and perform a virus scan. As you can see, my device is secure, so it's good to see. Alright, that's all in this video, thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.